Good evening and touch the lake to every chip guest and Tibet supporters, friends of Tibet, and all the brothers and sisters of Tibetans who are here in this special uh, square in Amsterdam, in very special country, Holland. In name of Tibetan parliament member, I would like to say thanks for coming and thanks for your participation and thanks for your support. As we know, these days inside Tibet, the situation is going worsening and also more critical moment. Tibetan inside Tibet, our brothers and sisters, they are dying. Tibetan inside Tibet, the Tibet is burning. Tibet is under repression. Even though Chinese government telling in the international level that Tibetans are happy, Tibetans make a big progress. But where is the progress? Where there is no freedom, there where there is no human rights, and what means the progress? In this case, this uh, in the name of Parliament from Tibetans, and uh, we made this initiated this special task, an event that is a flame of truth. That means we Tibet, we have a truth. Tibet are suffering these years inside Tibet under the repression of uh, Chinese communist policies. We know that uh, already every people knows more or less, but the what the UNO and the European parliaments, they are talking a little bit about Tibet, but not enough. UNO is silent still. UNO doesn't make that doesn't work, you sleep, still is, UNO is sleeping. We have to wake up UNO. We have to ask European Parliament that the Tibet needs your support. Tibetans are not danger. We Tibetans are peace-loving people. We follow Mahatma Gandhi, non-violence. Our leader, His Holiness Dalai Lama, he leads us peaceful means and the non-violence is our struggle. We don't want bloodshed. We don't want Chinese suffer and the Tibet win. No, we want a uh, benefit equal, good for Tibetans and good for Chinese. We want, we are not against Chinese people. We are not against Chinese public, but we are against Chinese government's policy violating human rights in China and Tibet and exploiting all our natures and the minerals and the resources of Tibetans and the contaminating all rivers of Tibet and now deforestation of the, our mountains and then also uh, colonization with Tibetans six millions and now there are more than eight million Chinese inside Tibet. We are minority in our own country and now the Chinese want to control. And moreover, not only Tibet, Chinese is controlling the whole world. Made in China, the powerful market of China really controls the rest of the world and there's no freedom, there's no, they want to control all the political people, all the governments really, they only want to say silence to the Tibetan case and wherever Dalai Lama goes to the world, bringing the message of peace and non-violence, the Chinese want to, yeah, object the uh, visa for Dalai Lama, etc. Anyway, the Tibet will not die. Tibet will never die in this, yes, but Tibet will live more and more alive. But inside Tibet, they are suffering. They have no freedom. But we Tibetans living in, outside Tibet, in a free country in Europe, America, uh, and the whole country, and the, we Tibetan are the representative of the six million Tibetans. We will not keep in silence. We will speak for our brother and sister who are suffering inside Tibet. So, we are here. We are here in Europe 
to ask your support. Moral support is very important. To tell truth is very important. Our responsibility, we need to make please the Chinese government buying things from China. But at the same time, the millions and millions of Chinese, they are suffering. And millions of Tibetans are suffering inside Tibet. So please, we will ask for EU and uh, UNO to speak in front and aloud to the Chinese leaders that uh, we respect human rights. We need freedom in this world. In this case, this campaign of signatures and the flame of truth, we decided to travel 23 European countries, to, taking this flame of truth and uh, yes, and uh, driving a small Spanish car, bringing message of peace and nonviolence. Those people who know the problem of Tibet, we need more increase the support. Those people who don't know the problem of Tibet, we will share with them more awareness of the problem of Tibet and we need the more and more supporter from the Western side. So people who don't sign yet, we urge you to sign more and more. We have a time. So on 10th December, all the signature we collected from America, Canada and South Africa and Australia and Europe and India and, and Russia and Mongolia, we will collect all the signature and we will bring this to UNO in Geneva and UNO in New York and in New Delhi. So the, hopefully the UNO still not sleeping. We should say, we should ask the UNO wake up and it's no time to sleep. Send a fact-finding delegation to, to Tibet. Chinese government say that Tibet is better progress and they have freedom. Where is the freedom in Tibet and China? Even though Dalai Lama photo is banned and prohibited inside Tibet, where is the freedom of religion? Where is Penchen Lama, youngest prisoner in the world? Really? And then Tibetan peoples, they cannot learn their own language. Tibetan is obliged the uh, Chinese language otherwise uh, became the Chinese language as the first language in Tibet. And then nowadays, this week even in Tibet, all the monasteries are surrounded by military and the armies with the guns uh, and controlling monks and nuns not to play, not to follow their beliefs. So there is, where is the freedom of speech? Where there is the freedom of religion? No. This is a government of China, communist China, this is regime China. This is the what really violating the, the law of uh, international, but whole world is silence. So we want to say that really all the international community, please open your eye and open your mouth and say something good, good for the humanity. The Tibetans, we are not animal. We Tibetans are, we are nation, we are human. Uh, we need also the uh, same freedom and human rights as everybody. So uh, our wish is that we want to dialogue and negotiate with the China that better for Chinese and better for Tibetans. But Chinese government is really obstructing them not to talk with them. So therefore, I don't want to say many things and the time is very limited. Even though they say today is uh, good weather in Holland, still is uh, is a uh, little bit uh, uh, freezing, you know, <laughs> so fresh. So this is what. And as I come from Spain, Barcelona, always we have a sun, you know. So this is. Uh, but you have so very good. You have many supporters. Yes, Holland, Holland people, Dutch people, and Netherlands people. You are supporting really for Tibet. We need your support more and more. And then I want to say thanks for yeah, all the organizers. <clears throat> I want to say, lastly, really, I was moved. Uh -huh. I visited this uh, from 23 countries in Europe. Yes, 
nine already are gone. And uh, yes, you know Spain, Andorra, maybe many of you don't know this small country, Andorra, yes? And then also France and London, everybody knows. And then, uh, yes, Scotland and Ireland. Then I went to Belgium, Brussels, EU, front of EU, where the Chinese, uh, yes, leaders are there with patents and supporters. We, we shouted, peacefully, we shouted a lot, you know. And then after that, I was in Luxembourg and then Frankfurt. Now I was, I'm here with you in Holland and sharing with you some point the problem of Tibetans and then also uh, to ask uh, Holland Dutch people uh, even yeah public normal people we need your support then MPs we need also more support and government Holland please support us because we Tibetan uh, peaceful uh, people we are not a danger and especially with Tibetans we have no country at the moment we have no country but we have Dalai Lama. Americans have Obama, but no Dalai Lama. <laughs> yes? <clears throat> and only Dalai Lama inspire the whole world with patterns. We are not giving up our struggle. We will fight for our right. The pattern will send, yes? Because the leadership of Dalai Lama inspire us to wake up, to work, struggle uh, through means of non-violence. So we will follow that. So Tibetan people's brothers and sisters of Tibetans, we have a responsibility. We have a special right to work for our brother and sister who are suffering inside Tibet. Never forget we are Tibetan and we must work. Please, we must work, we must share the message to all our neighbors, our friends, and ask for more support from the outside world. So thank you very much, and uh, yes, may His Holiness return very soon to Tibet in Potala. This is a desire and wish of six million Tibetans inside Tibet.